So, of course, we have to start with the most obvious query uh, this weekend. Is Sam Altman fired from OpenAI? In OpenAI's saga, a twist we found. Sam Altman was dismissed but might rebound. The board had once ousted him, it's true. But talks of return now brew anew. Fired suddenly, a shockwave sent. Yet on governance, Sam might relent. If terms are met and changes made, a CEO's comeback might be staged. <laughs> okay, that's great. So what you just saw is the system I created where we can take context from a Google search to kind of ground the model and also get fresh data. Uh, all of this is kind of powered by the assistance API. So let's just take a look. As always, let's start by looking at the flow chart. So you can see in the top left corner here, the user puts in a query. This could be a question, anything they are wondering about, right? Uh, we have then a function like that is run by GPT-4 Turbo to rewrite this query into a more Google search friendly query. This could be like shortening it, just taking out the keywords and stuff. This Google search friendly query will be sent to our assistance API that has some function calling that calls up on the Google search API function and the beautiful soup4 scraping function. So the Google search API returns a URL that um, we go and scrape and we collect the context from that website, right? Uh, before we move on, I want to show you like how this works because you can see here user Original user query plus website context is collected. So if we take a look here now You can see we have the user query here. So who won the Las Vegas F1 Grand Prix, right? And the rephrase Google search query could be something like Las Vegas F1 Grand Prix winner and then we scrape this content from our website So Max Verstappen emerged on top of the end. Yeah, that's good retrieve context from Google then we put it together, so we have the user query plus the context. So maybe like who won the Las Vegas F1 Grand Prix. We feed the context under here. And then we could get a GPT-4 response like Max Verstappen was the Las Vegas F1 Grand Prix winner. So the model did not have any information about this, but we went to Google, we retrieved this information, we fed it back to GPT-4 Turbo, and now we can answer this question, right? So this is kind of what happens here, like it handles the question with the grounded text, a grounded context and user receives the rewritten final answer. So we can kind of structure this format. I did some tweaks about this so we can adjust what kind of format we want the output that the user receives in, right? Uh, and that is basically the flow chart. Now let's take a bit of a look at the Python code, some functions before we move on to test this. Okay, so the first function I wanted to take a look at is the generate Google search query. So here we use GPT-4 Turbo to convert the user input into a Google search query. So basically the prompt here is convert the following user query into an optimized Google search query. And then we have the user input, right? Uh, but I have a system message here in this uh, client chat completion here. You can see we use the new GPT-4 Turbo. So you are a Google search expert. Your task is to convert unstructured user inputs to optimize Google search queries. And then I gave like an example. Why was Sam Altman fired from OpenAI? Optimize Google search query. Sam Altman fired OpenAI. So that is basically all I gave this. Uh, so that is a very simple function and it works pretty good. We also put in a f print function here so we can take a look at it. Uh, the next one is just get uh, organic results. We use SERP API to use the, to do the Google search. So only we're missing our API key here. I'm not going to show that. We return three results. And here we have the scrape website function. Pretty straightforward, just a beautiful soup. Uh, straight up scrape web parser. I don't know what I'm going to call it. <laughs> and here is where we create an assistant with a specific name. This is the client beta assistance crate. So this is the API from OpenAI. Uh, we have called it Google GPT. You're an assistant capable of fetching, displaying news article based on user queries. I don't know, that instruction. I just kept it as is. I'm not gonna change up that. Yeah, we have a new GPT-4 uh, 128K Turbo. And here we have the tools, right? So this is the function calling. So you can see the type is function. It's going to get organic result. That is this function, right? And we have the function scrape website. This one. So that is our two tools that we are going to do. So 
Uh, these tools are not using like the parallel function calling because uh, they are kind of serial based because we need the URL before we can scrape the website. But uh, we could have a lot of more function calls here. I might do a video on parallel function calling that seems to be working much better now that we can do multiple things like at the same times or in parallel. So I'm probably going to do a video on that later. But yeah, pretty straightforward function calling here. We just want to return our URL and we want to scrape that URL. That is basically it. And I put in just some, uh, it's a true loop here. So when we enter our your query, we can get it back after the answer so we can follow up with another query, right? And that is basically it. Uh, yeah, I wanted to show you this too. So here is kind of where we uh, chat completion request with the grounding context. Here is where we can kind of adjust the, because we have the context, news content, plus the user query, right? And then we're going to print this grounding context. So here is kind of where you set the structure you want for the final output. So I just put in always return only the essential parts that answers the user's original user query. But add three bullet points to back up your reasoning for the answer. So this is the system message I set for this and it seems to be working quite well as you will soon see. Uh, and yeah, that is basically it. I added some colors here so you can separate the user input from the GPT-4 response. And yeah. I think that's it. It's pretty straightforward. We can also go over to OpenAI's playground and here you can kind of see our system. So Google GPT, here we have the instructions, we have the model and here is kind of our, let me zoom in a bit, our functions, right? So we have the get organic result function, we have the scrape website function. Uh, unfortunately, this does not work in this playground because we can't scrape websites from here. At least I have not got this to work. Uh, but that it works great in like we run it in the terminal. So I think we're just gonna do some queries, test up some stuff, maybe change up the um, output here, and we're only gonna search on like recent news. So yeah, let's try it out. So of course we have to start with the most obvious query uh, this weekend. Is Sam Altman fired from OpenAI? So let's find this out. So here you can see the converted. Uh, Google search queries, that is Sam Altman OpenAI fired status. Uh, and here we can see we get the context from a website, right? That's the white part. This is from The Verge, I think. And here you can see the response. Yes, Sam Altman was fired from OpenAI. And here we get our three bullet points. The text mentions Altman was suddenly fired from the board Friday with no notice. Discussions about him potentially returning, okay? I didn't know that. <laughs> His firing has led to uncertainty with an open and caused several senior, senior researchers to resign. So, I gotta say, this is working quite well. Remember, this, of course, this has nothing to do with uh, training data. This happened just a couple of days ago. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy how this turned out, I gotta say. So, you can see, this is the context we fed it. And, yeah, it's looking very good, to be honest. Uh, let's try some other queries, and let's try to change up the output structure here, but let's try something else. So let's try who won the Las Vegas F1 Grand Prix. Wow, that was a long context. Uh, so the Google converted search query was Las Vegas F1 Grand Prix winner. Yeah, that's good. And uh, this was from today. Perfect. Max Verstappen won the Grand Prix. Despite a five second penalty and a collision with George Russell, managed to take the win. This victory marked 53rd Grand Prix winner's career. Verstappen became the first driver to ever win three times in the same country. Wow, that's good. Nice. But now let's change up the output prompt a bit and see if we can get some other structures from this. I changed it up to always return a short, concise response in valid JSON format. So let's just go, was Sam Altman fired from OpenAI? Uh, and yeah, we get Sam Altman fired through <laughs> event date Friday. Source multiple people from Hitler with the matter. Okay, that's something. <laughs> I guess it is a JSON format. Uh, okay, so let's try something else. So let's do who won the Las Vegas Grand Prix again. So you get this search query. Great. Let's take a look at the JSON format. Winner, Max Verstappen, event, Las Vegas Grand Prix. I guess it works. 
So yeah, I guess it works. Let's do something else for the output format. Let's do uh, always return the response in a short poem format. <laughs> so let's see if this works. So let's just go with the same query. Is Sam Altman fired? In OpenAI Saga, a twist we found. Sam Altman was dismissed but might rebound. The board had once ousted him, it's true. But talks of return now brew anew. Fired suddenly, a shockwave sent. Yet on governance, Sam might relent. If terms are met and changes made, a CEO's comeback might be staged. <laughs> okay, that's great. So yeah, I think we kind of proved that this works pretty good. I had done some more testing too, but uh, yeah, you kind of get the gist of it by just by looking at this video. Uh, if you're interested in trying this out for yourself, uh, you can sign up uh, as a member to my channel and I will give you access to the GitHub where I will be uploading this script. And I might do some more in-depth tutorial on the members video section. We will see. Uh, other than that, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.